Welcome everybody to another episode of Merritt Outdoors and Prospecting. My name is William Merritt, I'm your host today. Today we are back out finally fishing at the Sutherland Reservoir off the Coolant Ponds from the nuclear power plant out here. I want to pan around and show you a picture of our poles and what I got set up. I already got my poles in the water. We're out here for some cats today. Caught a big catfish earlier and uh, ended up breaking the line trying to pull up a concrete wall. So we got some heavier poles out now and hopefully we'll catch something. We got uh, three people out fishing today. We got six poles out. So we should have good luck. All right, guys. I'm going to show you guys what we're working with. So here I got my Akuna set up. Um, bait caster with my big Akuna pole. And I actually, a little overkill on this one. I got 500 pound test on it. This is for big game fishing, but I've broken a lot of line out here with fish, so you'll see how that goes. And on down the canal here, we got more poles set up. I'll show you those here in a second. Just to show you the beauty of this spot right here. This is that waterfall I had the other day I showed you guys I was standing on top of. Now I've caught a record bass right there. In the summertime I catch a lot of big catfish right here along this stream. But right now we got a lot of current coming through. The, the coolant plant's working a lot. A little bit of overtime. So right now I'm going to fish right where the water starts to get a little calmer here. Where all the eddies start to stop. So we'll see how that goes. And on down here, just keep following the canal down and about every oh, 40 feet I got a pole out. Beautiful out today, absolutely gorgeous day. High of 40 today here in Nebraska. It's a great change from the negative weather we've had for the last two weeks and all the snow. Got another rod out right here. absolutely beautiful and this is a pretty deep canal here looking at about 15 foot deep in the middle this is the one that flows off in these coolant ponds I showed you the other day that were all smoky looking because the water's warmer than everywhere else in Nebraska another one of my big rods I got here and we got worms bubblegum stink bait fiber bait homemade and some cut bait on there so let's see what takes over Got Georgie over here at her last pole. And then I got some friends down at the point fishing. So there are quite a few people out today. A lot of poles out. Should be good work. So yeah, that's our setup all the way down this canal to the fall. So get back to y'all here in a minute if we get something. So guys, I want to talk about a little bit what's going on in the world today. You know, we've had some major ice storms all over the United States, a lot of Arctic winds, and some of these states have been really affected by it, but came to my knowledge the other night when I was talking to my mom down in Texas that uh, they've been without power their water shut off they lost pressure on their water they are having to boil their water and without power it's hard to do not only that but they don't have food trucks going in and out of Texas down there so a lot of the grocery stores and stuff around Austin and Houston and places like that that are really populated are out of food there's no mail going down there so you can't mail food down to your people and it's just a really rough time for those people and if any of y'all out there are religious like I am and, and some people are you know and even if you're not religious I just ask you to send prayers or good vibes those way to those people you know there's some homeless populations in Texas and there's tent camps and stuff like that with hundreds and hundreds of homeless people living in them and if there ain't no power and there ain't nowhere for homeless people to go on no food there's gonna be people dying and people suffering every day and, you know a lot of us have it really good even though we may not have a lot of money with COVID going on and, and jobs are hard to come by and and things like that there's people a lot worse out there so i just ask y'all to, to send some good vibes out there send some prayers out there for the people in texas and arkansas and the other states that really need it you know we got to look out for our fellow man that's what america is about is looking out for each other so i want to thank y'all for listening to that you know it's just something that's been heavy on my heart and mind and i've been thinking about it a lot today so we'll get back to some fishing here we just had a bite on one of these poles we didn't get nothing so the next one i see bend over i'll turn on the camera here and i think i'm gonna get georgie on a fish We'll get him reeling in one first, and um, maybe I'll catch one here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, you guys, you guys just just keep people in their prayers. You know, our fellow men and, and men, women out there, they they need our help. And uh, like I said, I don't live rich. I'm poor. You know, I don't have a job. I'm still looking for employment right now. Um, I've been out and unemployed for about five months due to a broken leg and ankle, and I'm just healing up. And it's it's really hard to find a job right now. So. 
I'm not suffering. I got heat and I got a roof over my head and my kids got food and, and everything like that. But there's people out there that just can't even get food because grocery stores don't have it. So, yeah, I'd just appreciate it if you guys would say a prayer for them and look out for them. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a fish on here. It's going to be really hard to try to reel them in. He's still on there. I can't tell. Well, we'll find out. I'll try reeling in. I'll let you guys know in a minute. Well, I lost that fish. Unfortunately, I was trying to uh, wait for my cameraman to get down here and I didn't set the hook in time. So by the time I grabbed the pole, he decided to let go of it, but he was hitting pretty good there. So I got uh, four poles out around this area now. Hopefully we get something else to bite. It would be nice. But uh, that was a pretty decent bite for wintertime. So I'll show you where the poles are set here. And then just a waiting game. We'll see what happens. So I got this one set down next to that concrete wall there. There's a spillway down here. It floods out finally and goes into the lake. And I got a lower one set over on that far concrete wall over there and I got my big one here set right out straight in front and I got another big one over there and it's set out straight in front out in the middle of the canal there so we'll wait and see what happens ain't this a pretty view though nothing like a beautiful winter day up here you can really see the lake the ice is starting to thaw well, the warm water here comes out of the canal and flows back into the lake so there's some pretty good warm water down there I wouldn't mind fishing it but there's a lot of a lot of rocks and a lot of snow so may not be the best idea speaking that I just broke my ankle and my leg I really don't want to get back down there but I will show you something cool these rocks are full of pyrite down here and I do a lot of prospecting videos in the summertime we're gonna start so I'll give you a shot of some of this wild pyrite we got growing here in this vein and some of these boulders. And I mean, it's just scattered all these boulders throughout here, all from Colorado. I don't know if y'all can see the pyrite or not, but there is gold pyrite all through the rocks. Very pretty, very pretty. But yeah, it's a beautiful day out here. Even if you don't catch nothing, it's nice just to get out and see this type of view. Alright, we'll get back to y'all if we get a bite. Well guys, it's getting dark. We lost a couple of good ones today. Had some nice ones on and lost them. We got a few poles out now, but it's starting to get late. We got to get home and get some dinner. So, I don't know. I'll show you where we're at right now. This is a little bit of a different place. It's still out here in Sutherland off the canals, but it's a, a different spot. It's where the water comes out of the bottom of the lake and flows into a canal going all the way to Sutherland, Hershey, and then to North Platte, and then flows back into a river. So it's a pretty cool spot. I'll, uh, I'll show you the setups we got going on and my little calling card I left. Yay! So we got a big pole out there. I got Georgie down there and a couple of other poles. And basically the water is on the other, the lake's on the other side of this levee right here. And they let so much water out at a time. Right now it's kind of low. So we catfish in here. Now I guess George is getting a bite down there. So we'll wait and see. But the water comes out here. And flows through a dam. It goes right here to break the water so it's not so fast. It slows down, spins through here. And there's another dam right in here. So I got one pole on that side. I got this pole on this side of the dam. Georgie's got a line down there on that side of the dam by the floodgate there. But anyways, we don't catch nothing. Then I guess we don't catch nothing. So you guys have a good night. And I uh, appreciate you for watching. Remember, my YouTube channel is Merit Outdoors and Prospecting. Please subscribe. Hit the like button and hit the notifications and when I get new videos out, you guys will know first. And uh, 
I'm not sure about tomorrow. We might come back out and try again tomorrow. Hopefully I start working again next week. So fishing will be a little far in between. But you guys have a great night. Thanks for watching. Calling card. Oh, so naughty. Ha, ha, ha.